Hello everyone, welcome back to Africa Talk with Wisdom. If you are just visiting my channel for the first time, my name is Wisdom Waifo and I'm coming to you live from Fayetteville, North Carolina. And today we have decided to take a walk around Fayetteville asking Americans about Africa. What do they think about Africa? Would they like to visit Africa? What were they taught growing up in America about Africa? I think the answers are going to be really, really interesting and I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are also looking forward to it. Let's find out. Where, where in America are you from? I'm from here, Fayetteville, North Carolina. Okay. Growing up in, in America, what, what were you told concerning Africa? Well, in school, all I know is, <laughs> you know, that's where our native country was from. Okay. Black, 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 black people. All right. Were you told Africa is super poor? Yeah, I've seen um, different places in Africa, like Ethiopia. I believe it is. They suffer with a lot of poverty and whatnot. They don't have many clothes. You know, some people over there, you know, they don't have, you know, shoes, running water, and whatnot, you know. But um, they survive. They survive. So that's what you grew up knowing about Africa. Has anything changed since then? Well, I wouldn't actually know because it's been a while since I um, was in school. I don't, I don't know. Would you like to visit Africa? No, I would like to visit there, but I ain't getting on no airplane. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Where are you from in America? North Carolina, uh, North Carolina, I guess. Where in North Carolina? Down on the coast, Moorhead City. Nice. That's so cool. So, um, what? Growing up in America, what were you told about Africa? Mm -hmm. Told about Africa. Taught about the country. Okay. Um, d did they tell you that Africa is poor and there's like a, l a lot of poverty in Africa? There's both. You have the wealthy part of Africa and you have the poor part of Africa. That's so cool. Has anything changed since then from your, your perception about Africa? No, it's still just like America. You got the rich and you got the poor. Okay. That's cool. And would you like to visit Africa? Yeah, I would love to go. Where would you like to go? I really couldn't tell you. Uh, I've heard a lot about the Ivory Coast. Uh, I have a friend that was from Iberia. So, you know. Like to go to Ivory Coast. It would be interesting. Where, where are you originally from? From Belarus. Nice. Okay. So, growing up in, in Belarus, what were you taught about Africa? Well, that's a very <laughs> broad question. A lot. Okay, what are some, what are, just give us like some of them. Well, we studied geography, we studied a little bit of history. I wouldn't say it's a lot of history, but a little bit. So, we know where is that, what it is, and who lives there, and what they produced, and so on, so on. But it was a long time ago. <laughs> okay, uh, have you, were you told that Africa is super poor? Um, it's more poor than Europe, I would put that way. Okay, and since then, has anything changed in your perspective? Now? I'm not sure about that because I have friends from Nigeria <laughs> so I know a little bit of their living all right so would you like to visit Africa like anywhere in Africa I would like to where would you like to go I don't know it doesn't matter I never been there so any place would be good thank you so much for talking to us where in the US are you from uh, North Carolina. Fable. Awesome. So, what have you been taught about Africa? That it might be um, a third world country that there's not done a lot of there's a lot of poverty. There's a lot of poverty. Has anything changed since? Like, I'm sure you've met. Have you met no, sir. Okay. So there's a lot of poverty. Would you like to visit Africa? Yes. Where would you like to go? I have no clue. All right. Thank you so much for talking to us. You're welcome. Where in the U.S. are you from? I am from actually Pennsylvania, but I am currently residing in North Carolina. 
Wow, that's so cool. So, growing up in America, what were you th- what were you taught about Africa? Oh, I wasn't taught anything about Africa at all. Okay, what do you know about Africa? I know my son went on a mission trip to Africa. He went to Kenya, and I had heard that um, it was poor, and the children were better behaved in school than our children here. Um, they um, didn't have hot water during the day, or maybe they would only have it once a week. He was able to uh, explain to me that he kno- he could actually live without electricity and hot water. He didn't know that from being raised in America. And they did a lot of walking. There wasn't as much transportation as we have here. Okay, where do you know where exactly your, your son went? He went to Kenya but I don't know, they were there for six weeks, so I don't know everywhere he went. He went as a college student. Oh my, 2010. Okay, so do you think anything has changed in terms of, like in your perspective about the poverty in Africa, has anything changed? Um, Through missionary work, I know there's been some changes that they're trying to get better education and building schools and things like that, but um, I've heard about the engineering of, you know, waters. I I don't know what things are called, I'm sorry, but that, but that's about all I know. Okay, thank you so much for talking to us. Where in in America are you from? Delaware. Delaware. Um, um, Would you love, would you like to visit Africa? Yes, I would. Okay, and where would you like to go? I say Nigeria. Nigeria. Why Nigeria? I don't know because I met a lot of Af- I have met a lot of Africans from Nigeria. So many Nigerians here in the US. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you meet Nigerians everywhere. Mm-hmm. So yeah, what, what what do you like the most about Nigerians? Well, I like the African culture. I like I like the dress, the the, the dress way. I like that. African food. No, I'm not really sure about that. It, it, is it a little bit spicy? Um, no, um, it depends on it depends on, it depends on where you are. Yeah, so yeah, you should try African, especially if you like Nigerians. Tell them to uh, make you jello fries. Okay. My name is Jyoti, and I'm from India. Awesome. What about you? My name is Bisa, and I'm from Cambodia. Wow, that's so awesome. So yeah, um, would you like to visit Africa? Yes. I and w- where would you like to go? I would like to go to places that I haven't visited already. And which is? Which is, I don't know. Oh, you tell me. <laughs> which country have you been to? I've been to Ghana and South Africa. Okay. And where else would you want to go to? And I've been to Mauritius. All right. Have you been to Nigeria? Would you like to Sure, yeah. What about you? Where would you like to go? I, w- I would like to go to Algeria and Ethiopia. Why are you in Ethiopia? Um, to eat food. Okay, so you like their food. Yeah. And, o- yeah. and also, um, I want to go to Algeria to visit the refugee camp. Shout out to Sahrawi people! <laughs> That's so cool. That's so cool, yeah. And also, I heard that Ethiopian boys are really, they are really happy. Yes, they have this curly hair and they know how to cook good chicken. Okay, so if you're an Ethiopian out there, you should definitely, I mean, just contact me. <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, to, uh, if you're an African, let me know what you think about this video, about the answers you heard. And if you're an American, also let me know what you think. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and share with your friends. And I'll see you all in my next video. Peace.